All right, now in the previous lecture, we got our data frame with 89 different columns of technical indicators. Now, by using a combination of these, you can create a very powerful reinforcement learning algorithm. Now, uh, what we want to do is to grab a subset of these and to build our environment using the columns that we choose. So the first thing that we need to do is to import a package called from Jim any trading dot env um, import stocks env and this just allows us to extend the stocks environment that we used above here and add in our own data now i'm going to be following the documentation for jim any trading here and we're going to do something very similar to this and uh, we can start doing that now so the first thing that we need to do is to create our function and we're going to create this function here so def my processed data. Um, and what we want to import is our environment because we want to extend it. And the next thing is to uh, create a start variable, which will start at um, day five. Um, so you can just think of it as our start date for the environment. And we'll do end frame bound at the zeroth index subtracted by env window size and then end equals env dot frame bound oops, frame bound one just like that and if you look at the documentation we are doing the same sort of thing and then let's do the same thing for prices so let's go back here and we can do prices equals env dot df dot lock and we'll do everything to low and then we'll convert this to a NumPy array and we'll go from start to end. And this just follows the documentation that we viewed in the previous video. The next one is the signal features. So this is the most important column in this function. So here we're going to extract the columns that we choose in these 89 columns. So we can do env df dot loc or locate these column names and we'll put a colon then here we're going to extract the columns that we want so the first one is close um, the next one we want is going to be the volume following this we will grab the momentum rsi and this needs to be the exact uh, name as in the data set so um, feel free to look through uh, but um, yeah it's called momentum rsi the next one will be OBV, so we can do volume OBV, which is a very powerful um, trend following algorithm or a um, volume indicator. And next we can do trend MACD diff, and that's going to give us a MACD uh, difference between the two lines for the MACDs. Uh, if you want to do more research on what these technical indicators are, feel free to um, look on Google. Um, but this is going to be our subset now feel free to add more to this uh, but for now i just want to show you and teach you how this would work and then we can simply just return prices and signal features just like that and so we can return that and so now um we've processed our data and so now we need to connect it to our environment so we can create a class and this class will inherit from our stocks env class. So we can do my custom env, and we're going to pass in or inherit from stocks env, which is part of the gym any trading class, which allows you to build um, gyms. Um, but we're just going to add on to this gym. And here we can do uh, process data equals add or my processed data and just like that we've created our environment and so now we can actually create the variable that will hold our environment by doing my custom env so env2 equals my custom env and we're going to pass in the data frame um, df2 um, which is our data frame with the 89 columns we can pass in the window size which will be equal to 5 and then finally the frame bound which will set to um, 5 to 200, I think. 
or how many rows? Okay, so we have a thousand rows. So let's do um, five to seven hundred. And so by doing that, we've successfully created our environment. And so we can look at the signal features here, which are our extracted features from our data frame. And you'll notice that we have five columns similar to these five columns here. And so now we're ready to create our environment and to create our model to learn from the environment. So that's what we'll do in the next lecture. And I'll see you there. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments.